Starting today, counties across Oregon will begin mailing ballots, and for most people, that means they'll be arriving in your mailbox over the next few days. Yeah, but it comes at a time when there have been many concerns, especially nationally, over mail-in voting. Well, joining us live to discuss more on that is Multnomah County Director of Elections, Tim Scott. Thank you so much for joining us. We know that you're probably very busy right now. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and so I guess let's just first start with the, you know, the process of, of the county mailing out these ballots today. What's that going to look like? Well, uh, yeah, the, the day is finally here. The elections arrived and ballots will be in people's mailboxes today, tomorrow and Friday. Uh, the post office usually gives us a three day delivery window and they've done a really good job over the last two elections of, of hitting that window. And in most cases we saw in the primary and the special election, most folks in the county had received their ballots by the first day of mailing. Okay, so definitely be checking the mailbox this mm -hmm. week. Tim, I wanna ask you about a new story this week from OPB. They're reporting uh, some social media reports of, of USPS drop-off boxes uh, seeing damage. Are you aware of any damage to Multnomah County uh, post office boxes? Uh, are you working with USPS to track any of those reports right now? So, uh, yes, I, I spoke with my liaison at the USPS yesterday, and they said that getting those uh, blue uh, USPS collection boxes fixed as soon as possible is a priority for them. Um, of course, there's lots of options with vote by mail. Um, voters can uh, have their ballot collected by their route carrier at their house. Uh, or they can use uh, one of our 24 hour boxes to deposit their ballot or any Multnomah County library starting today is a, is a deposit site. Folks can use the, can use the uh, overnight book drop. And, and yeah, to be clear, we've, we've seen these reports on social media of the blue USPS, the post office drop boxes, mm -hmm. some of them potentially receiving damage, unclear yet if it's vandalism. Are you aware of any reports of damage or vandalism at any of the ballot drop boxes? Oh, not to our ballot drop boxes, no. The, okay. I, I, I believe I've seen the same thing that you've seen, which is the USPS blue collection boxes that are the property of the United States Postal Service and they've assured me that they're working to uh, monitor and get those fixed okay. as soon as possible. But no damage to our 30 drop sites throughout the county. Now, uh, when is the absolute latest that someone can mail out their ballot and are there any exceptions for people who maybe forget or did not register? So October 27th is the last day that voters can mail their ballot back and be sure it's going to be received by eight o'clock on election night. Um, and if folks did not get registered uh, by the deadline yesterday um, and have not been registered in Oregon before, unfortunately, that deadline is pretty hard and fast in the Constitution. So there really aren't uh, many options, but uh, folks sometimes don't know that they're registered, and so they should give us a call, reach out to us, and we can uh, look them up in our system and see if maybe they got registered automatically through DMV or something like that. Yeah, I think we've also got some families probably here in Multnomah County right now who've had to evacuate or be displaced from some of the wildfires we've seen in recent weeks. Uh, can people come to Multnomah County Elections Office for help, even if they maybe weren't previously living in this county? Sure, if folks who have been displaced from other counties are now uh, getting their mail or residing in Multnomah County, they can update their address at any time uh, and they can actually do it at any location. They can, if they have a driver's license, they can do it online. Um, none of the processes for updating addresses are closed. So um, they can do it in any way that they would previously. They can come to our office, they can do it online. Um, the first step would probably be to give us a call to see what their specific situation is so that we can help them work through that. Okay, well, it sounds like the best thing to do if people have questions is to call the elections office there. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, giving us some valuable information as we head into the, the prime time for election. Yeah, best of luck mm -hmm. over the next several weeks. Thank you.